All right, I want to thank you for coming to a really short, powerful session that we've put together for you guys. This is for realtors all over the country. Some of you are here live on our Facebook page today. Some of you are in residential real estate offices across the country with residential real estate brokerage level partners that we've formed over the last decade or so. I'm really excited. This has been a fun chapter in my career running the Annie Mac Works Real Estate Productivity Platform where we partner with real estate agents and we partner with real estate brokerages and we do so many fantastic uh, things together. But one of the most important things we do is share best practices. I have 35 years of residential real estate experience and I will tell you that I am a student of this industry. I learn something new every single day from someone 10, 15, 20, 30 years younger than me. And what I've been noticing is that there's a next generation of real estate professionals that I am so enamored with, I am so impressed with, and I am so humbled by. And I've spent the last couple months talking to many of them about exactly what they do to sell 100 homes a year, to sell 200 homes a year. Hell, I was on last month with a guy who sells 500 homes a year. Individual real estate agent. If that doesn't get your attention, I don't know what will. But we're going to break in to some best practices that we brought back from you. My favorite thing about this network is there's never a charge for anything that we do because a great mortgage company, Annie Mac Home Mortgage, had decided that it was worth investing in residential real estate professionals. Annie Mac Home Mortgage, 10 years ago, said it's worth it. We should invest in our residential real estate referral partners so that we can pass wisdom down from the elite producers in the industry to the emerging realtors. So whether you're an emerging realtor, a, an existing top producer, or a, a legitimate bona fide mega producer, we get to share these things with you without you having to write a check for anything that we do. So today's session is called the Next Gen Real Estate Agent. Next Gen Real Estate. I'm going to tell you a lot of what I learned over the last couple months is get hyper local if you want to beat Zillow and Realtor.com. You've got to be the local guru. You've got to be the hyper local expert if you're going to compete with these huge fintech investors that are putting money into the technology like Zillow and Realtor.com have. You've got to get hyper local. We're going to get into that for a minute. We're going to talk about renovation real estate. And the reality that there's run, we're running out of room to build new houses. So a lot of the houses you're going to sell people in 2022 and beyond are going to need renovation. You got to be really, really sharp with staging and renovation like Joanne Gaines and the Property Brothers, right? This isn't your grandfather's real estate market. There's not new houses, you know, and, and the renovations of these homes has to happen. And staging these houses to get add value to your listing presentations and to get involved with your sellers more intimately to help them maximize the sales price, you've got to start leveraging the power of video. The next generation of real estate agents is leveraging the power of video in real estate. Little trick up our sleeve, a real peek into the future. I'm telling you what, nothing is changing the game in residential real estate more than removing mortgage contingencies and writing cash offers with you know your regular VA buyer who needs to buy a house is being locked out of the home purchasing opportunity because you can't get a VA offer accepted so what are the next generation of real estate agents doing so that they don't go out have to write 6 8 10 offers with every buyer that they've got how can you use Cash to keys uh,
innovations in real estate and mortgage financing to remove mortgage contingencies and represent your borrowers with a cash offer and get to know how that translates into even more innovation that's coming down the pike. These are things that are mind boggling where your listings can buy another house before they sell their house and you can execute a larger relocation strategy. It's stuff that I never heard of in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s when I was selling houses. So what's this old dog going to teach you new tricks? I don't know. My name is Russ Fitzpatrick. I'm the lucky founder of the Annie Mac Works real estate productivity platform. That is my beautiful wife, Carrie. Many of you have been to some of her very popular classes and her coaching sessions on her expertise in geographic farming and real estate staging, and now the Pet Friendly Real Estate Agent Network, which is her passion. We've collectively sold more than 3,500 homes, and now I'm a student of this industry. But just to give you a little joke about 1986, that was me when I was starting the next generation of real estate agents. Put five kids through college since that day. Put put uh, five kids through private school, had a heck of a life created by the gift to gab and that natural networking that I did back in the day to become a 160 deal a year realtor at Remax and eventually go on to own and operate my own brokerages where we closed 300 houses a month, 350 closings a month at my brokerage. So have been around the block, have been there, done that. Uh, really had a, a 35 year run. Uh, but now I'm a student. I'm a student of these, these younger, more, I think they're more professional. If I'm being honest, than the realtors that were in the eighties and nineties that I knew, shoot, man, we were uh, using MLS out of a book when I first met. I was a fan of that Alec Baldwin movie, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Remember, always be closing. A, B, C, always. A, always. B, B, C, closing. Coffee is for closers. Put that coffee down. It was a tough business in the 80s and 90s. And for those of you not old enough to know that movie, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. It's one of the more iconic real estate sales meetings there ever was. And it, it, it sent shivers down the spine of anyone who couldn't sell. But I want to I wanna share with you something that I am enamored with. Today's real estate agents don't follow Alec Baldwin's ABC, Always Be Closing. You know what they do instead? always be serving. And I know that sounds a little corny for the first slide in this next generation meeting, but I see love in these realtors' eyes. I see compassion in their eyes. I see humble servants that are making the next generation of real estate agents more polished, more professional, more sincere, more loving. And I think the thing we should start out with is the quickest way to get what you want is to help more people get what they want. And if you don't get a great big hug at the end of your closing, you didn't do a good job, pal. And I'm a fan of realtors, man. I know how hard it is to be a commission only salesperson with kids at home. And, you know, some years you're going to have a uh, a pretty thin holiday season. Some years it's going to be incredible. But if you keep ABS in your mind instead of ABC, you're going to start to understand what the next generation of real estate agents is all about. And that's always be serving. When I was selling real estate, we had to be on Main Street. If you weren't on Main Street in your town with your real estate office, you weren't noticed. Your location had to be next to the public's grocery store. You had to be visible to the public at large. Today, it's no secret to any of you that the next generation of real estate agents is right now, right in front of your very eyes, leveraging the power of video 
to create a hyper-local connection with their target audience. Your mom received recipe cards from her realtor to establish rapport and credibility in the geographic farm area. Today, you can digitally farm a subdivision for pennies a month if you just start to realize that video is your friend. If you're not confident enough to do video, you're not confident enough to do real estate in 2022 and beyond. If you think you have a face for radio and you don't belong in video, I want to tell you a secret, friends. The customer is going to see you when you show up at their house anyway. They're going to find out what you look like. You might as well just be transparent on video and be humble and be a servant and, and lead with love and just speak your mind on video, right? Because if you can get in front of the camera and start showing your passion and conviction, you're going to be influential. It doesn't matter. You don't have to look like Halle Berry. You don't have to look like, you know, George Clooney. You can, you can, you can wake up in the morning and record a two-minute video message to the public at large about a topic. Now, I'm going to give you some role models here. This kid came to work for me when he was 19, 20 years old down in Coral Springs, Florida, when I ran my brokerages. And this guy is leveraging the power of video. Now, I'm not going to disrespect Chris Cusimano by telling you to copy what he's doing, but imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. You have an opportunity to watch these little 1 minute 27, 1 minute 42, 2 minute videos. There's a 4 minute video down there on the bottom. And just jot some notes down about some things you like or that you don't like about his videos and act as your own constructive director and put together an idea and just film a 30, 45, 60 second shot. You'll get more comfortable with it, guys. I can tell you the first time that I was asked to public speak at the Deerfield Beach Chamber of Commerce in Southeast Florida in 1990, I was so nervous that my lips stuck to my teeth. They were so dry because I was so nervous. You've got to do it a few times before you're going to get comfortable with it. Go into Chris Cusimano, Homes by Cousy on Facebook. Dig around in there and see some of the videos this doing. Let me just tell you, this guy's a father of four down in Parkland, Florida, and he makes about a half a million dollars a year selling real estate. Not a bad guy to flatter with some imitation. I'm going to tell you one of my role models, one of the greatest leaders I've ever seen in residential real estate. And I'm not kidding, guys. I watched this lady take over Plantation, Florida residential real estate. Lori Reeder. Go to her Facebook page and watch her videos and understand that she is making, I'm going to guess, okay? I'm not with the IRS and I don't have access to her tax returns, but based on the production, I'm probably undershooting her income, her gross commission earnings at $3 million a year. If it ain't two million, I'd be shocked, shocked, because this lady's selling like a, a home every ten minutes in Plantation, Florida. She's an absolute freak show, and she's a dynamic leader. And look at her video: three minutes on the Super Bowl, um, two minutes on is this the right time to sell? A minute twenty six seconds on new data shows you now is the right time to sell. You think she's leveraging the power of video in her local market to sell about 60 homes a year? I don't mean to go hyperactive on you, but this might be the number one real estate agent in the world. I've heard it's pretty close between him and one other individual. But if you want to get what the top producers are getting, you got to start to do what the top producers are doing. And the next generation of residential real estate agents are going to have to leverage the power of video because postcards and recipe cards and free CMA 
and little corny open houses with a lasagna at them aren't going to cut the mustard in 2022 and beyond. You've got to leverage the power of video in your local market. The other thing that we want to show you real quick is how you can automate some of this stuff. The next generation of real estate professionals is going to automate a lot of what they're doing in residential real estate. So let me show you an automated vehicle that you can use instead of posting martinis from Friday night and bikinis from Saturday at the beach, instead of posting pictures of your, your meals, make real estate relevant posts that will drive a call to action from the consumer. If you look at a post, as an interactive relationship with the person who's viewing it, you want to include things like the details about the property on your post, right? You want to put your logo and your website and all your information about you at the bottom and the logo of your brokerage down here. And you want to put the details. You want to put a gallery of all the photographs so they can look at the entirety of the house. You want to leverage the power of video? What if we automated the video for you? So the video was made free for you in advance and the video played and you could put that on social media. So with one click of a button, you could post that video to your YouTube channel. With one click of the button, you could share that listing on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or Pinterest or Instagram. And we'll, we'll help you do that. It's very, very easy for us to help you automate this. But what if instead of them liking it, your post or following you, or what instead of just sharing your post, what if they actually were able to go in and request a showing for a particular day? What if your, your Facebook page became the place where you started getting inbound leads, inbound showing requests? What if your customer got to see the map of the property right in your social media post? Would that be helpful for them to understand where it is? And what if instead of you having to physically do the labor of putting this post together, what if some automation did the post for you? Well, let's go back to my PowerPoint here and I'm going to show you how this automated technology is available to all of you. And it's absolutely free, guys. It's absolutely free. You can automate social media posts to your Facebook, your Instagram, your, your Pinterest, your, your Twitter account, whatever you use, so that your customer has a, a fully interactive experience with the listing that you post. Now, some of you are here today and you don't have any listings. So you're like, well, what would I post? Well, you can go to auction.com and produce listings that you can use from their inventory. You can go to um, HUD.gov and you can post that inventory. Uh, that will definitely attract a lot of attention. And then last but not least, you can go to builders and developers. And I promise you, a builder would be ecstatic for you to build a social media interactive post that looks like this for their residential real estate listing. And all you need is a camera. All you need is a camera. Of course, it's a little more labor intensive. If you don't have any listings, you have to go do some legwork. But running a, a real estate organization without listings is a little bit like running a shoe store without shoes, right? So you have to create some inventory. You have to create something or those people that are walking by your shoe store aren't going to walk in. So if you're going to leverage the power of video on social media, we want you to automate that so that your own listings, your brokerage listings, your builder developer listings throughout the neighborhoods that you work in, and also even the new inventory that's coming into the market from HUD, and auction.com and, and foreclosure properties are going to be great listings for you to advertise through your social media to attract people to you. So 
obviously it's it's a push of a button to share this on social media it's a push of the button to get it to your youtube channel it's a push of the button for uh, an interested spouse to to send this post to their wife or to her husband this is an easy easy thing for everyone to do and like i said if you if you're if you're not yet comfortable or you're not putting out enough video content of you personally Perhaps if we automate these videos for you, if Annie Mac Home Mortgages, My Work Suite, can automate the videos, at least you'll have some content to start promoting via social media. So the next generation of real estate agents are going to automate the video. They're, they're going to automate all of these things. And we know that. So Annie Mac Home Mortgage is invested in a technology that creates a, a single property website for every listing in the market. It, you, can, you can put domain riders on your signs. It'll be a mobile website that you can send your buyers and your sellers to, and they can see them on their phone. The technology I want to talk about for last minute here is the video builder technology. If you want to leverage the power of video on YouTube or Facebook or other social media contents, Go to My Work Suite and open a free account today. There's no cost. There's no obligation. We're not asking you to slide a credit card. And some of you are probably saying by now, well, who's this, who's this old guy who's going to teach me what the next generation of realtors are, are going to do? Well, I do keep my foot in the, in the, keep my toe in the water a little bit, if you know what I mean. I process about 4,500 leads a month through my brokerage and uh, my brokerage employs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 ISAs. So we have inside sales associates that are converting our leads for us. Now you can see they make about 150 calls. Uh, I'm sorry, they, they work 150 hours a, a month, some of them, and they make Somewhere between, uh, well, the lowest was 300 and, and 700 calls in a month. You know, so one of my ISAs made 4,400 calls in one month, okay? Right in the middle of your page there. If I could get you as a realtor to make two or 3,000 outbound prospecting calls or lead conversion calls a month, do you think you'd be making a lot more money? Think about these guys that are sitting in my call center making 20 calls an hour every hour for 160 hours a month well look at the end result on the far right of your screen 53 live lead transfers that added up to 23 credit pulls that's about 43 percent of the people that this individual shot over made an actual application and went out and bought a, is trying to buy a house after being pre-qualified with credit pull 51% of the people. This is this is how I'm staying on top of the next generation of realtors and the next generation of mortgage bankers. Working in lead conversion and lead nurturing is for me like the front line of residential real estate, right? It's the the tip of the spear. It's the people that are doing the the hardest work, right? If all you are doing is, is, is your friends and family and your sphere of influence, it's not that difficult. But when you're converting ice cold leads at a 40% clip, you're doing something pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you what the next generation of real estate agents learned. You know, look at the numbers on your screen. In my early years of internet marketing, back in the, the 2003 to 2010, we used to do a lot of what we called pop-up um, lead forms, right? You'd be shopping on the website and then all of a sudden a thing would pop up and it wouldn't let you shop anymore unless you filled it out. And you know what we did? We paid hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars to have pop-up leads sent to our cell phones or our email addresses. And you know what we got like 50% of the time? We got Donald Duck, 555-1212. We got false information added in to the short form because the consumer was just doing it as an obligation. They didn't really want to do it. They were being forced to do it in a pop-up. 
what the next generation of real estate agents have learned is that the cost per lead might be higher for a long form lead, but it, and it might even convert less forms per um, click. But let me show you something, guys. The next generation of real estate agents has stepped away from you're only one step away. And we've started to learn, this is a lot of language here, but I did that to make a point. Leverage long form lead capture technology that actually requires the consumer to make an emotional commitment to the process before you have to pay for the lead. So before the consumer hits submit, they've had to answer 10 or 12 or 14 questions. So the result is you're going to get a lot fewer leads. You're going to pay for a lot fewer clicks, but your conversion rate of the leads that you pay for is going to be significantly, significantly greater. And I can attest to that with the 4,500 leads a month that we convert down in Southeast Florida right now at my brokerage. Would you rather pay $6 a lead for a lead that converts at 2%? Or would you rather pay 60 bucks for a lead that converts at 20%? And it doesn't take a genius to see over on the far left-hand side in the blue box that you're going to make the exact same amount of money with your investment. But the thing is, is who's going to call the 98 other leads that don't want to buy a house? The problem isn't creating leads in 2022. That's the easy thing. The hard thing is who's going to call them all. You don't want to call 100 leads a month to get two closings a month, do you? So start to understand why long form technology, and there's a new phrase, some of you have heard it for years, some of you, this will be the first time you've ever heard it, called squeeze page technology or long form technology. So you run an ad on your social media uh, that says first time home buyers, right? First time home buyer program. And then instead of them searching on your website and getting a pop up ad, instead, instead of being forced down this sales funnel, they actually, actually become generous with their time because they're sincerely interested in becoming a first time home buyer. And when you find that level of sincerity and that level of humility, and that level of transparency that's created with a consumer that answers 10 or 12 or 14 questions through a squeeze page, you end up with a much, much higher level of conversion. So I've built 10 different squeeze pages for realtors to use, and they go like renovation real estate, right? And then there's a long form squeeze page that the consumer fills out if they're interested in becoming a fixer upper. Um, we have one that centers around the new inventory coming into the market from the foreclosure, you know, reality of the foreclosure market. Have you ever wanted to steal a bank owned foreclosure? And then there's a long form that, that, that ensues and, and gets that consumer to make an emotional connection. Is this better than posting, you know, uh, you know, your chicken pot pie at dinner. I think it's more interesting to a residential real estate consumer than some of the stuff that I see posted. Does your real estate consumer want to hear how much you hate uh, a particular political adversary? Or does he want to hear how much you can help him stop renting and buy a home? Let's start posting residential real estate relevant posts with squeeze page and long form technology into your social media and you're going to have a lot more fun. And by the way, you're going to make a lot more money. I appreciate your time and attention today. And I'm going to end our time together on what I think is the greatest innovation coming down the pike in residential real estate and finance that's happened in my career. I am telling you what, guys, I am very sincere when I tell you that the next generation of real estate agents will write all cash offers all the time. 
No mortgage contingency in the future of real estate. And I know that's a bold statement and some of you guys are rolling your eyes right now, but I was part of the, the formative processes of this innovation. And I am telling you what, guys, it is going to be the new world order. It might not be available in your state yet. It might not be available in your market yet. You might not have heard the words cash to keys. You might not have heard what no mortgage contingencies mean. I'm going to tell you with great conviction, great passion, and hopefully a little bit of influence, there will be no such thing as a mortgage contingency in the next three to five years. Everyone will be able to leverage cash offers to write their mortgages. It's incredible what's going on with cash to keys. Look at the bottom of your screen right there. I did a little flip there, worksignup.com forward slash cash to keys. There's no cost for this, guys. Nobody's trying to sell you anything. You can become certified as a cash to keys real estate agent and never write a mortgage contingency again. This is incredible stuff. You can help a listing agent, as a listing agent, you can help a seller with the convenience of buying now and then selling their house later with cash to keys. You can become a certified real estate agent. If I, if I sound hyper right now, it's because I'm hyper. I am telling you, I don't think there'll be a mortgage contingency in 2024. I think that every everyone will write these cash offers with the mortgage addendum, the way we're getting cash back offers through cash to keys now. If you understand what I'm saying, worksignup.com forward slash cash to keys. It is a way for a private equity fund to guarantee your consumers cash purchase of the house until their mortgage is approved. I'm going to say that one more time. It's a way for a private equity firm to back your buyer with a cash offer until their mortgage is funded so that their real estate contract has no mortgage contingency in it. It is by far the most innovative, creative, and game-changing innovation that's hitting the residential real estate space today. It is truly the next generation of real estate. I'm going to end my time with you with a couple of, of opportunities for you to take advantage of. The next generation of realtors will partner with Andy Mac Home Mortgage. I can bet you that. Put your goals in writing with an experienced mentor. If it's your loan officer, if it's your branch manager, if it's your best friend who works at Animac, if it's someone at Animac Works, find someone to consult as a mentor and a friend and go ahead and take the plunge and put your, your goals in writing. If I've noticed any difference between the haves and the have-nots in this crazy capitalistic society, Putting your goals in writing will get the job done. Number two, get certified as a real estate staging expert. We're going to put you through a scholarship. You don't have to pay any money to do it. Number three, join the next generation of real estate agents and get ahead of this renovation stuff. You know, you got to understand renovation real estate in 2022 and beyond. And we're going to put you in a scholarship. We're going to get you through that certification, no charge. Get out of your comfort zone. Get with a business development coach. Go to a free coaching program like Take 10 Listings. Spend time with other agents in your office or other agents in your community or other agents across the country and go through a six-week coaching program like I did back in 1987 when Floyd Wickman was my first coach. I joined a Sweat Hogs program and went through a six-week coaching program with Floyd. And it didn't just change the dialogue that I used. It didn't just change the scripts that I used on the phone with customers, although that it did do that. It changed where my kids went to college. It changed where my kids went to private school. It changed where my kids made friends in the neighborhood because we lived in a better home and in a better neighborhood. Coaches can get more out of you than you can get out of yourself. And if you want to make more money in residential real estate, get with a business development coach that can teach you some strategies and broaden your perspective. Number five. Go through the six-week coaching program on farming. I'm going out to um, to Washington, D.C. area, Bethesda, Maryland. I'm going to sit down with a lady next week that sells 200 homes a year. She told me on the phone last week, everything that she's accomplished in residential real estate stems back to her farm. 
Everything that she does, is, does in residential real estate today, selling 20 homes a month, goes back to her geographic farm area, her subdivision expanding and expanding and expanding. You owe it to yourself to go through a, a coaching program on geographic farming. It doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money. Whether it's available in your area today or tomorrow, you're going to start to work with more buyers that are cash buyers because they're going to be backed up by an equity firm that's going to back up their offer with cash. If you as a realtor had a billion dollars in the bank, you could back up their offer with cash until they got their mortgage funded so that they get their offer accepted. We're not going to have to go into these 6, 10, 12 offers written before you ever got one accepted because you're going to be able to write a cash offer with these consumers. Two last tips for today. Apply, start to find asset managers and apply, apply to them. There's going to be a lot of asset managers looking for realtors in the next six months, 18 months. You, you could get ahead of this. And if you've never gotten an REO listing before in your life, every REO listing you get is going to produce eight to 10 well-qualified buyers. So the reason I think you should start to learn about asset managers and get in front of the REO opportunities is because they're real. The next six to 18 months in your state's probably going to be 25 to 50,000 foreclosures. And if you don't believe me, just do the research. You'll find out. And, and start to prospect the sellers that are facing foreclosure. Go into your tax rolls and find the list pendants notification, the, the notifications of foreclosure that are filed. And go reach out to those consumers and show them that they still have equity. Because those sellers are prevalent of using the ostrich method for dealing with their problem. When you're three months, four months, six months behind on your mortgage payment, you don't want to answer the door. You don't want to answer the phone. You don't want to talk to anybody. So leverage the power of video. Direct message these sellers. Knock on their door. Shake their hand. Don't even mention that they're in foreclosure. There's a little secret for you. Just say, hey there, we sold the house around the corner. And I sure would love to show you how I can get you top dollar for this house. If we could sell it before August, I could get you top dollar for this house. If you're interested in any of these things, teaching, training, coaching, free technology that automates your social media, scholarship certifications or scholarship to business development coaching, just, just click on that QR code on the right hand of your screen right now and register. If you don't have a loan officer at Annie Mac Home Mortgage who invited you here, just put my name in and tell us what area you're in. My name's Russ Fitzpatrick and I can get you with a loan officer local. Uh, to you and make sure you're happy with them. If you already have a loan officer with Andy Mac Home Mortgage, ask them about these scholarships and the social media automation that we talked about. If right now you're pointing your camera at that QR code and it's not working, just type in worksignup.com. Just type in worksignup.com forward slash agents in action. I'm going to leave that up as I say goodbye today. It is always my pleasure. It is always my privilege. In fact, it's quite a humbling experience to go out and meet these realtors that are selling two and three and 400 homes a year, and they just bring back their best practices to you guys. I'm kind of like a, a disciple of these guys. I mean, I'm a big, big fan of these ladies and gentlemen that are selling so many houses a year, and I get to bring their best practices back to you, like Kusamano and Lori Reeder and Karen Rawlings and Saku Pyle and big, uh, you know, Dayton Schrader out in Fort Worth. And, you know, I just met a guy up in Oregon today. We're doing a session tomorrow and in Washington state. So I'm humbled by the whole Annie Mac works real estate productivity platform. If you haven't found something valuable for you and your real estate career in our platform, tell your MLO what you're looking for. Let them tell me. You want to learn more about divorce real estate? You want to learn more about probate real estate? You want to learn more about for sale by owners? You want to learn more about expireds? You want to learn more about technology? Tell your MLO what you're looking for and let them reach out to Annie Mac Works and we'll we'll come to your calling. We'll reach out to you and say what what can we what can we do to take your career to the next level? So if you didn't click on the QR code um, or, or 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 write down that that URL at the bottom of your screen. I certainly appreciate you being here anyway. If you did, we're going to have a mortgage professional from Annie Mac Home Mortgage reach out to you. 
My name's Russ Fitzpatrick. Our success truly is measured by yours. And the Annie Mac real estate productivity platform is a big part of how we're going to do that. Thanks so much for being here.